Bienvenue à Tours pour la cinquième épreuve des Night of the Jump. We've just completed an awesome night here. One of the toughest competitions that we've seen on paper leading into this competition. But of course, it started with an awesome light show to begin here in Tours. I believe it was one of the biggest events we were ever going to see at Night of the Jumps. We had the inclusion of Takahiga Shino. Reese Izzo, he brought his own quarter pipe here, a new trick for Night of the Jumps, the new egg roll, that backflip transfer off of the quarter pipe. Reese unfortunately went for a knack egg roll, a new trick never before done, unfortunately he just couldn't hang on to it. Hannes Ackerman just missed out on the top six final, so close, only a couple of points in it. He had the egg roll and he landed it, not too bad in the double up, he held it up, but of course in his run he had a 360 and he told me, he only just worked on that trick this week, and it was good enough for him to put in the run and quite flat as well. A good run from Hannes, but unfortunately not enough to get past Remy Bizois in his home country to get into the top six final. We then move into Best Whip with two riders that we've never seen before here in the World Championships. The local kid, Nicholas Texier and Taka Higashino. Nick had a good run, but unfortunately it wasn't enough and Taka took out Best Whip. We then move into the Maxis Highest there, and where we would normally see Massimo Bianconcini flying over the top of the bar, this time it was Jose Morales with a height of 10 metres. We now move into the top six final and the pressure was always going to be on these guys, whoever made it to the final. In sixth place, Libor Podmol. Everybody had issues with one of the landings. Unfortunately for Libor, he had a little bit more issue when he went for his vault in the double up and uh, he just couldn't hold on to it, ran off the side and put it into the dirt. But luckily, Libor was well enough to get up and walk away from that one. Then it was up to Remy Bizois in fifth place. He brought Naomi, his daughter, as a lucky charm and he rode really well. And it was just enough for him to hold on to that vault the first time we've seen it from him in 2015, but not enough to go through. In fourth place, Rob Adelberg, the first time we've seen him off the podium in 2015. He had a very clean run, but it just wasn't enough to get onto the podium this time. In third place, it was a very difficult decision, but Takahiga Shino on a five judge count back after being equal with Malero with 404 points. He was in third place, but that's not to say he didn't have a bad run. Uh, he had huge tsunami flip. Then of course it was the Cali roll and then finished it off with a rock solid indie backflip. In second place, we had Michael Malero, and I think with the points decision, it might be the little bit of use of course, where Michael was the only rider to do the flare out of the quarter pipe over anybody else. Then, of course, Michael had the double grab backflip and his own version of the Cali roll, side saddle takeoff into a Cali roll. And in first place tonight, in front of his local French home crowd, David Ronaldo, he had an awesome run, a couple of very, very minor mistakes, but the trick level was so high with two body barrels in the run. Before he even got to the final, we had the Cali roll and the vault. And then in the final, he did do a double grab indie backflip. We were expecting a rock solid, but it was still just enough for him to take the win here in tours. And of course, climbing his way up the 2015 FIM Freestyle Motocross World Championship ladder. And that's it from here in Tours France. We have two more weeks until the next event in Basel. We only had one week difference last week. We've seen so many new tricks in one week. With two, what can the guys come up with then? <laughs>